Xbox shut down four whole studios. Microsoft said that white hoes can suck toes. Whoa, CEO, fiduciary duty. Looty box tutti fruity like mad booty. Sony keep it real and altered the deal with a mukbang side of censored sex appeal. <laughs> Nigga, that's not very democratic, but brace for the static if you want to get dramatic. Bloomberg Schreier said the cuts go higher and gaming's inspired a layoff desire. Acquisitions, canceled IPs, shut down studios, brand on its knees. Fable, ugly, stale, avowed, indie for a modern crowd. Phil Spencer 343, Halo, murdered, vicious, Lee. Is it your destiny to suck D since I see your priorities, diversity, performative, pandering, fake, artificial, initial, prejudicial, sweet baby, sacrificial on an altar of lies? Too late for cries, you've earned recognition as the one they despise. To the other studios, brace for your demise, this next part should come as no surprise. Never trust a fat black woman unless she's making pancakes. <laughs> Shutting the studio down. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment to push this out. And then remember when you comment that I can see how many of you are actually subscribed. Katie Joe Wright, seen here in a gaming is for everyone shirt, said, If you don't include intentionally, you will unintentionally exclude. Big words from the grifters known as Xbox head of games for everyone and sustainability. We'll see how sustainable things are in a big way. Ironic that this statement is the exact opposite of the mentality held by Helldivers developer Arrowhead. Xbox has closed four studios following a series of whoopsie daisy sliding on a banana peel moments that spanned a decade under Phil Spencer, CEO. Xbox marketing is compelled to say things like, raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games. No hate to white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. You're unironically writing shit like this as Xbox marketing. Away with you, because things aren't divisive enough out here with proud racists and shill gaming media refusing to actually report the news in its entirety, opting instead to protect the people harassing, targeting, and uttering phrases including but not limited to things like this from Paul Scott Canavan, and I quote, This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up, end quote. Not unhinged at all. You know, gaming used to be my outlet when it was made as an entertainment kind of, you know, not an indoctrination tool or a vehicle for some asshole obsessed with identity politics, these lonely uglies that are weirdly interested and focused on poisoning and getting kids to believe and view them exactly the way that they want to. And if it stopped there, some people unfortunately probably wouldn't care, but it had to go in the direction of sanitizing mature escapes with politically correct cringe. You know, that safe, forgettable, shaven off all the edge, nothing. The shade of gray, the gruel, the slop that they somehow expect you to pay to consume. If your shills have told you that gaming is collapsing or crashing, remember who said no to that last time. Xbox, not unlike Sony, has a big problem with attractive women that don't bow to their progressive DEI standards. It is not focused on genuine inclusion. It seeks only to oust any and everything that it deems offensive, a list that gets longer every day. This push unironically excludes and reduces the variety on offer, among many other things that alienate the audience who had long been faithful, that could have been expected to keep buying so long as service was offered. Instead, you're providing less, demanding more, and instead of supplying the demand, 
You're trying to condition the customer into swallowing whatever pill you're trying to force on them. What gaming has done as of late is nothing short of advertise why a PC is definitely the preferable platform. And you should probably be looking into getting one of those right now. And I'm not joking, I am unironically directing you to my donation links in the description. I have an Amazon wish list down there. Go look at snatching something up or suggesting some parts that I should put on there. Uh, or if I should just get a no fuss build because you know I'm a console slut so if, if I, that's what I've been doing up until this point hey watching what happened to Halo at the hands of 343 then you know watching them get to keep their jobs kind of sums up the slackers in gaming pretty well studios that are a husk of their former glory with freshmen and grifters enjoying the shade of the greatness that the passionate founders and talent erected I don't know how to phrase how vomit-worthy the insinuation that Arcane was gonna make another Dishonored is, but if you can resist crapping your pants laughing long enough for me to remind you that Dishonored came out 12 years ago, then you should all no sooner expect the remaining rainbows at Rocksteady to make another Arkham game than you can your ability to lift your top or go to the roof and fly right now. You can't do it. So, yeah, if you guys want we can watch the theater kids calling themselves games creators these days, sighing and acting out how mad gay are that the rhythm game that they really like that probably didn't make as much as they think it did resulted in a studio being closed. Is it their fault? No. Is it my fault when I buy a game and it doesn't fucking work? No. Some of this shit been coming down the pipes. I'm no plumber. I just play one in a Nintendo game, and when the fall is red enough, and the squad is sushi enough, you kind of expect something to come thereafter. Can it get more out of touch with humanity than demanding women not be exaggerated in their proportions and that men be portrayed more sensitive and sad or vulnerable in a fucking video game? Let's find out. Tarkov said, I'm the greediest, and then Sony said, I'm gonna censor, and then I'm gonna do it again, and now your gray spirit is expired in the game that you're playing, and then Xbox pulled out a gun and shot the needle off the record and said, one, <laughs> no, two, mm -mm. three, oh, four studios, Redfall, a literal example of what goes wrong with these games. The, were, they were gaslighting me for when it came out at the time, telling me, oh, I'm the death threater and the review bomber. We were saying, game passu unsustainable. We told you. And many more Kyle prophecies will come to pass. All the Starfield cope in the world couldn't save Xbox from reality. Please excuse my lack of interest in exploring the incompetence of their leadership. I'm unfortunately exposing that devs are so hate-filled over something as simple as a picture like this that an appealing game is obviously outside of their, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we can't agree on what the definition of words that appear in the dictionary are when we're showing you the dictionary definition, man... You know, some of these things are just outside of what you're capable of. I love you guys to death. I can't wait to get more of you. I don't know why I'm not seeing more of you. I don't know why you're not subscribing. I can just assume it's something that I've done and have some sort of outburst, right? That's what you guys are looking for, right? You like go crazy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Frothy. So, patrons, thank you. Um, subscribers? Any of you who go, you know, buy a computer right off my wish list right now. And then the next video, I'll start it off by going, oh, 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 you know what I mean? Love you. Bye, 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 bye.